program activities launched in 2012 were completed in the same manner during 2013. In the framework of the functions of the police headquarters, the organizational and administrative activities were mainly aimed at increasing the efficiency of interaction between the central apparatus, regional departments and territorial divisions. Discipline of duty performance has significantly increased. The business trips to other countries have been reduced and become more targeted. Both the quality requirements for submitted reports and the consistent processes of elimination of the revealed shortcomings have been strengthened. The activities aimed at optimization of structural changes have been underway, including the cut-down of 250 positions in the central administration of the police, 195 of which have been provided to territorial bodies. Two new divisions have been fully established in Vanadzor and Gyumri cities instead of the previous disproportionate structure. The works carried out with juveniles have obtained a new format. The Department of Combating Domestic Violence and Protection of Juvenile Rights has been created within the General Department of Criminal Intelligence. Consistent works have been conducted in the legal framework. Police has been actively involved in the development of the draft law on combating domestic violence, and the leadership of the department has participated in the drafting of the Convention on Combating Violence Against Women and Domestic Violence. In the framework of police reforms, the draft decision of the Armenian government on the procedure of organization of works carried out with juveniles in the police of the Republic of Armenia has been elaborated and submitted for government approval. The department continues to closely cooperate with various international structures, non-governmental organizations, educational staffs and concerned citizens. The institution of school inspectors has been successfully established at high schools of the Republic, the expansion process of which is underway. Significant achievements have been made in the sphere of service provided to citizens. In particular, the application of one window principle has been launched in the Records and Examination Division of Yerevan. Devices for printing plastic driving license cards have been installed in all records and examination divisions of traffic police to enable the instant issuance of driving licenses. Passports and Visas Department of Police of the Republic of Armenia has already started the process of issuing identification cards and biometric passports. The Operations Monitoring Center has started its activities within Yerevan City Police Department. Through a GPS system, the center tracks the movement of patrol cars and provides information to the Operations Center of the Ministry of Emergency Situations. Within the system of patrol service, the Battalion of Angels has been created, which continues to develop and increase in number. Besides the capital, Angels already operate in Gyumri, Vanadzor, Tsakhkadar cities and at Zvartnod International Airport. As a result of the three-year reforms, the community policing system has finally been established. There are 11 outreach stations in Yerevan. At present, approximately 685 offices operate in regions. In 2014, in the frame of the Community Policing Development Program, 731 offices have been provided to community police in 875 rural communities. In this connection, international organizations, in particular the OSCE office in Yerevan, regularly provides consulting and methodological assistance. Nearly three dozens of guides and manuals have been elaborated in collaboration with the police. The governmental decision on establishing the procedure for community policing activities and the order of the head of police on ensuring the enforcement of the Charter on Community Policing have been enacted. As a result of police reforms, about 200 draft legal acts, including more than 40 laws, about 70 decisions of the government and prime minister, over 50 orders and instructions of the head of police regulating the key areas of police activities have been elaborated. 
The disciplinary commission has been established and fully operates within the police system as a guarantee of civilian oversight and active mechanism for the investigation of gross infringements committed by police officers. Incidentally, five of eleven members of the commission are representatives of public organizations. A memorandum of mutual understanding was signed with the Armenian Chamber of Advocates. Upon mutual agreement of the parties, a commission has been established on public principles. The work with the personnel was made the focus of attention. Instead of previous positions of deputy heads on human resources, the Institute of Deputy Heads on Personnel was introduced, which envisages more extended powers and competencies. As a result of close interaction between the police and the Armenian Apostolic Church, the spiritual and moral values of police officers have been transformed. Another condition essential for improving the work efficiency is the improvement of social and working conditions of police officers. It should be mentioned that as a result of police reforms, the monthly salary of police officers has significantly increased. There has also been an improvement in living conditions of police officers. New administration buildings of passport and visas department, central Konakarazi Tun and Mush divisions have been inaugurated. All police units have been repaired and restored. At present, they are all supplied with gas. Works are underway to provide all units with new technical equipment, property and vehicles. The Criminal Forensics Department has been equipped with the necessary facilities. With the support of Federal Drug Control Service, works are underway to equip the forensic laboratories with the most up-to-date technology. There have been fundamental changes in the sphere of professional training of police officers. In accordance with the program and the schedule signed by the head of police, special trainings aimed at increasing the professional abilities and improving physical fitness and combat readiness of police officers are carried out under immediate supervision of the local leadership both at the police central apparatus and territorial subdivisions. Besides, professional trainings are organized for the heads of the territorial divisions every month. Those trainings are conducted personally by head of police and his deputies. Special testing mechanisms for evaluating the results of the training courses have been elaborated. There have been fundamental changes in the sphere of information technologies too. Thus, the procedure of transition to electronic document circulation system has been legalized. New software systems containing operational information databases and records of wanted and missing persons has been introduced in the police information center. By means of the interdepartment computer network, all the territorial divisions were connected to the same police network. The immediate electronic data interchange is henceforth available. Police server node has been updated and a new specialized unit was set up within the police to provide the operation of the node. Police leadership steadily implement the process of complete elimination of such vicious practices like testimony coerced through battery and torture. Such exceptions still occur, but they receive the tough response of the police leadership and are punished with all due severity. In 2013, 845 police officers were subjected to disciplinary action, 61 officers were discharged from their offices, and 10 officers were convicted. 600 police officers have been fined in 2014, 34 criminal cases have been initiated, 4 officers have been convicted. The self-cleaning process is underway. The work with the police of the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic has assumed a new format. Instead of collaboration, a fair and effective principle of joint partnership has been adopted. The international police cooperation has undergone qualitative changes. 
The close partnership with the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the Russian Federation was continued. Alongside other collective security treaty member states, Armenian police partook in Channel Nelegal Proxy, Channel Caucasus, Channel Valley preventive operations. Police has continued the traditional cooperation with law enforcement bodies of Georgia, France, Czech Republic, Poland, the Federal Republic of Germany, the United States of America, and etc. Active collaboration has been carried out with a number of international organizations, in particular with the UN Structural Units, the European Advisory Group, the International Organization for Migration, the Council of Europe, the Geneva Center for the Democratic Control of Armed Forces, the Black Sea Economic Cooperation Organization, and a number of other organizations and institutions. A particularly close cooperation has been carried out with the OSC office in Yerevan. Seminars, courses, trainings have been organized for various police divisions in accordance with the reforms program and with the participation of international experts, especially in the sphere of public order maintenance, community policing, and etc. In 2013, an international conference on police reforms was organized in Yerevan. The reform program of police troops has also been carried out consistently. The Institute of Contractual Service has been reinforced. The professional preparedness of the staff has been consistently raised. Logistics basis has been fully equipped. Working conditions of police officers are being improved. Police stations are being repaired. On June 21, 2014, the new administration building of the Armenian police troops was officially opened to mark the 22nd anniversary of police troops. It is noteworthy that the new administration building has modern and fully furnished offices. Educational auditoriums and exhibition halls were equipped according to modern requirements. The annual trainings are some kind of readiness test which are directed to the improvement of special activities and development of new skills. Those trainings help to reveal the results of the relevant stage of development. On September 8, 2014, command staff exercises on the use of special composite detachment during operations to prevent and suppress mass riots was organized with the participation of officers from police troops and other divisions. The event concluded on September 13, 2014 on the territory of Arzani Airport. According to the training scenario, the authorized rally ended in mass riots, which were suppressed by police officers who restored the public order using special protective measures and equipment. A group of servicemen were awarded for accurate and complete execution of designated tasks. Each new stage has its own peculiarities and differs from the previous one. Fundamental changes in the police personnel and structure as well as introduction of new information technologies have been the focus of the 2014 reforms. In this regard, the General Department of State Protection and Passports and Visas Department have undergone serious structural changes. At present, the mentioned department are under the supervision of police territorial divisions. These changes are aimed at improving the work performance, increasing the coordination, as well as activating the interaction with citizens and ensuring real feedback. This year, an automated information system has been installed in the National Central Bureau of Interpol in the Republic of Armenia. At the Passport and Visas Department, a system for providing electronic information concerning the procedure of acquisition or termination of the Armenian citizenship has been introduced, which allows to send the relevant information to the applicant's email or cell phone within three days after receiving the presidential degree. An information database has been established by the General Department of Criminal Intelligence for a digitalization of the already registered and current cases. 3,000 volumes of archive materials have already been digitalized. 
By the end of this year, a Department of Communication and Information Technologies will be set up within the police system to develop information technologies. A program of technical re-equipment and modernization of information system will be elaborated in order to improve the personnel work. As a result of the reforms, the police educational complex already operates with a new structure. Issues related to the regulation of the procedures of selection of entrants of the police educational center, college and academy, organization of educational process, state final certification were solved. A three-level system of education providing primary, middle professional and higher education in policing has been established. Close cooperation has been established with various international organizations, in particular the Yerevan Office of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. In 2013, Classroom supplies 289 books and manuals, teaching aids, IT and sports equipment were donated to the police educational complex by the OSCE office in Yerevan. The educational complex has continued the traditional cooperation with the American University of Armenia and Punic organization. At present, the educational complex of the Armenian police has higher qualified professional staff and its three-level structure allows to comprehensively solve the problem of retraining the police officers and recruiting next-generation police officers. One of the most significant spheres of reforms is ensuring publicity and transparency of the police activities, as well as establishing close cooperation with non-governmental organizations and mass media, aimed at activating public police interaction and strengthening public confidence in police. Times change and society's need for being informed grows. In addition to the website, available 24 hours a day, operative information provided to mass media, seminars regularly organized for the media representatives, as well as the exclusive opportunity to track the daily activities of the traffic police and passport and visas departments online, by the instruction of the police leadership, online Skype sessions have been weekly conducted since the second half of this year. During these sessions, the police expert responds to the questions of our compatriots residing in different countries of the world. The regular press conferences by responsible officials are also an important point. During those meetings, police top brass introduced the current work of their services, their program issues and priorities, and answer journalists' questions. However, the public attitude is the best indicator of police credibility. In this regard, it should be noted that there has been an unprecedented increase in the number of victims of different crimes, applying to the police and expecting assistance from police. The explanation is as clear as a formula. They apply because they do believe that they will get assistance and answers to their questions. It should be noted that the website of the Armenian police has recently been recognized as the best official website in terms of access to information and was awarded the Golden Key as a symbol of openness and transparency during the 12th Golden Key and Rusty Lock annual award ceremony hosted by the Information Freedom Center of Armenia. This is already the social evaluation of the publicity of police activities made by non-governmental organizations whose impartiality is beyond doubt. The ongoing reforms have proved to be successful not only in the sphere of public service but also public order maintenance and fight against crime. In this context, the results of the operative activities of 2014 are significant. As compared with the last year, there has been a decrease in the number of cases of intentional infliction of damage to health, trafficking, robbery, vehicle theft and violation of traffic rules. The rates of the detection of illegal weapons have increased and it's really pleasing that there has been a sharp increase in the number of citizens who voluntarily handed over their illegal weapons to the police which witnesses the efficiency of consistent works conducted to raise society's legal awareness. The undertaken efforts aimed at solving criminal cases suspended in previous years, especially those which had a wide public response, have also proved effective in ensuring the principle of inevitability of punishment. 
240 previously initiated criminal cases have been solved during this year, compared with the 127 for the same period last year. In fact, there has been an 89% increase, which surely affects the level of legal awareness in our society and strengthens the public confidence in the police. There have been fundamental changes in the traffic organization and traffic safety mechanisms. 80 video surveillance equipments and 129 speed measuring devices, 1,150 road signs have been introduced with the view of strengthening the traffic control in Yerevan city and interstate routes. 1,650,000 meters of Republican roads have been marked, traffic lights have been renewed and remodeled, intersections have been equipped with audible pedestrian signals. Currently, the whole traffic police is in the stage of radical reforms. This is one of the key directions of the policy adopted by the police. The staff, structure and activities of traffic police have undergone the most serious changes. In order to reduce the corruption risks, measures are taken to minimize contact between police officers and drivers. In particular, patrol cars have been equipped with video surveillance equipments. Traffic police officers are due to wear such devices too. The whole traffic control process will be recorded and the detected violations will be directly submitted to the Center for Registration of Violations and Operative Management. These fundamental changes will allow to fully perform police leadership's task in the sphere of traffic police namely to enhance the quality of the work, recruit exceptionally professional and responsible officers, strengthen public confidence in traffic police inspector, make the reformation process irreversible. The ongoing police reforms are also aimed at making qualitative changes in police activities and building public confidence in the police. However, the times change and the same do the public expectations. Nowadays, our society already demands not a renewed but a new police, with new level of operational preparedness, knowledge, moral and psychological content, and also appearance. The public's positive perception of Angel's Battalion proved that there is a public demand for presenting the new in a new way. And the phrase new wine in a new wine skin is not just a wise expression, but renovation principle and the issue of introducing a new police uniform became one of the focal points of the police reform program. The new police uniform pattern has already been approved and it is quite comfortable and stands out with nice color shades and new solutions to the shape of shoulder straps, distinctive insignia and etc. Since September 2014, the officers of the external service units have been wearing the new uniform. In 2015, the entire police system will serve in new uniforms, which will not only symbolize the transition from Soviet militia to a new law enforcement system, of course maintaining the best traditions, but also will become the next stage of new police officers' formation, when the content and the form, the knowledge and the function, the mission and the dignity of its implementation are consonant with each other. Police officer who is worthy of his or her rank, of his country, citizens and the police which serve the people serving the law.